So hi everyone, my name is Nun Teixeira and today we are going to start another video on our robot structure analysis making the change. So first of all, I'll need to correct something that I did not define properly. Let me close this. So let me go to materials and on the steel tab, select the proper steel which is this one here. I've selected this one with the W, but we want this. Okay. Apply, apply, let me select, apply to all of this. Okay. Now it's uh, defined in a proper way. Now let's define some load cases. Okay. So I will uh, press this button in the load types dialog box and I want dead load one okay very good now I want a live load I'm going to define a snow load case okay and a wind case which I'm gonna label and name W E W sorry about W, I'm going to control copy this and paste it right here add and uh, also this two wind load cases okay in each one of the direction of the structure north south east west let's start by the load definition I'm going to close this and turn this panel description on and we have our two panels okay going to low definition which is this button over here I'm going to press surface and press the uniform planner load the units is kilo pound by foot square and we are going to make it minus 0. 0. 0. 0.0.015 I'm going to add and as you may see the load selected over here is a wind load and I don't want that case for this load right here I want a dead load one I'm going to select it I'm going to apply it to the, the roof deck roof deck model I'm going to apply it to 80 apply and there you go this uh, load case that we have defined is around 0 0.75 kilonewton per square meter which is around 75 kilograms per square meter I'm also applying a floor that case on the surface it will be around minus 0 0.025 this is around uh, 1.25 kilonewtons okay per square meter kilonewton per uh, square meter when I add, I'm going to apply it to slab on deck 79. Apply. Okay, very good. Now let's do the live load. And this will be minus 0 0.05. Add and apply it to 79. Apply. Okay. Now the snow load 1. minus 0 0.04 and apply it to 80 if you change this you will see the loads regarding that case okay now let's do the wind which will be a uplift force of 0 0.02 apply it to 80 and also apply it to this case now we may take a look at the table, at the load table. Okay, if you press this button, you will see. And here you've got the description. Over here you have the, the units. Okay, let's go to tables and ask for loads. And there we have our loads. Next, we'll apply wind loads for the sidewall as linear load. So let's apply the wind. We are going to apply it on the bars as a distributed load and uh, it will have 0 0.14 
going to apply to this beam and also to this beam over here and uh, we are going to apply 0 0.28 we are going to apply it down here, okay? I'm going to add that by here and over here, okay? Now we're going to do that for the east-west with the same load magnitude over here. I'm going to call it zero. As it, this is in the other direction, we'll need to turn this around, add and apply it right here. Sorry about that. Okay, add and apply it right here and also right here. Very good. And also over here, the 8 in this and apply here and here. Oops, sorry, over here. Okay, you may check these loads over here in this, in this pix over here, as you may see okay very good so in the next video we will talk about the configuration of the basic seismic load so thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe uh, give this video a like it will help me very much so thank you once again